As of about 10 years ago, intercooled supercharging had become mainstream. We had led the industry with respect to the integration of intercooling into supercharging and had become the industry standard. Uh, the F-series blowers had become firmly established and we had become dominant in racing. And given that progress, it was again just natural to say, okay, what's next? The Procharger i1 is the world's first programmable ratio supercharger. This latest addition to the Procharger line produces not only the largest power gains, but also the ultimate performance curve. With an intelligent control system and an optional touchscreen display, drivers can switch between three factory supplied performance modes, as well as a custom mode. The i1 development process to date uh, has been ongoing for approximately four years from the original design to testing. Several of the technologies that are present in I-1 are not only new to Procharger as a company, but new to the entire industry. And so we had to assemble the right team to make it happen, but I, I just can't emphasize how much of a team approach it's been to get here and to bring this revolutionary product to market. What you see is a much more efficient supercharger. You're gonna see cooler charge air temperatures because of that, and you'll see more power for the same boost level, for the same stress on the engine. Once we have a order to manufacture parts, we order raw material. It comes in from the steel manufacturers in billet form. We put it on the saw and we cut it to different lengths in order to make each part that we manufacture. We'll clean up some of the rough edges, then it goes onto a lathe and install it on the, the DMG, a five axis CNC mill. And uh, we'll go ahead and then uh, point mill or flank mill, depending on the program. We were the first in the industry to utilize billet impellers on a production basis again nearly 20 years ago. We still utilize 7075 T6 aircraft aluminum. Between our compressor design capabilities and our machining capabilities, we can go from design to prototype in a matter of days. testing today on stock vehicles that are stock with the exception of the supercharger system. To our knowledge, the i1 has demonstrated the largest performance gains that you can get from just the addition of a supercharger system alone. Comparing what the i1 feels like, it feels very much like a roots blower, screw type blower. Makes boost instantly and you know, all, but the biggest plus I've been seeing is it doesn't have the power fade. You can compare it to a turbo where it has adjustability, but what a turbo has is lag. There's no lag with this. With the i1, because it's not engine top mounted and because it uses a really efficient front mounted air to air intercooler, the system has really good cool down time from one corner to the next. So I can stay heavy in the throttle the whole time. As soon as I let off, it's coming back down to normal operating temperatures. The new i1 delivers some additional features though which have never been available in the supercharging industry. The i1 has all the benefits of our current product line but also gives you a programmable boost curve uh, via a programmable ratio transmission design, cockpit control uh, which is pretty great in this day and age and then uh, an optional touchscreen as well. Programmable ratio transmission design has really been considered the, the holy grail of supercharging for decades. Uh, a lot of companies have talked about it, a lot of companies have have tried, but we're the first to perfect a design and bring it to market. It's instant. It's right there. It's when you want it now. Driving a car with the I-1 on it, I mean, it takes a you know, pretty mild manner street car and turns it into what feels like a race car immediately. To add 200 horsepower to the tire of a bone stock 5.0 with only 7.5 PSI, and a lot of people said it couldn't be done. And we're able to bring that to the masses now, and uh, that's, that's a special thing to me, is to be a part of it. When you get behind the wheel of an I-1 car, it's different, but it's amazing. The I-1's the ultimate. 